Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Monday, September 2nd, 2019. It is Labor Day. I hope everybody is doing well. And uh, we had quite a bit of rain here. Uh, started raining last night, probably 9.30. And uh, you can still see it's kind of overcast here. It looks like it might even rain again. Uh, so it started raining about 9.30. And it rained all the way till about 11 o'clock this morning, and then it stopped. But you can see it's pretty dark over here, so we may end up getting some more rain after all. We shall see what happens. So let's get into topic real quick today. Prepping on a budget, okay? So a lot of people say, um, I'm on a fixed income, I can't prep, okay? Well, I hate excuses, because there's always some place that you can squeeze to, uh, to put money for prepping. So we're basically, I'm going to talk about like prepping on $5 a week, okay? And you'd be amazed how fast things will build up even on $5 a week. Now, how do you get extra money? So, I mean, I, I'm, so here's the thing that I want to talk about really quickly with, with, with prepping on a budget. So people get, they're on a fixed income. Well, one thing I've always known and or seen, I should say, I don't care how poor somebody is, uh, they always have money for three things, okay? And you may not do any of these, so I'm not trying to single anybody out. I'm just using this as an example, okay? They always have money for three things. They got money for booze, they got money for cigarettes, and they got money for drugs. I don't care how poor they are, they always seem to come up with money for those things and then cry poor mouth um, the rest of the time. All right, so uh, if you are spending money on those things, uh, then you have no excuse not to prep, Okay. But let's say you don't do any of those three things, and so you're still pretty tight for money, all right? If you live in one of the northern states that has a bottle and can return law, uh, there is absolutely a way that you could save money and probably four, more than $5 in a month collecting returnable cans and bottles, okay? There's all, there are all kinds of people throwing bottles and cans away all the time. Uh, you can definitely pick up a nice amount of money picking up bottles and cans uh, I've done it I've definitely I used to go when I lived in Henrietta New York we were near the thruway and I can remember uh, I was early in my nursing career as a nurse and I remember saying to my niece who was very very young at the time I said Jeannie I said you want to be invisible with Uncle Eddie today and she goes what do you mean I said do you want to be invisible she goes sure okay I said watch we're gonna go and we're gonna be invisible and so what we did is we got a couple of, you know, big garbage can bags, or ca garbage cans, bags, you know, the, um, like contractor garbage can bags, or cans. Why do I keep calling it cans? Garbage bags. Contractor garbage bags. So we get a couple of those. We would go down to the rest area on the throughway, okay? And we would go through the garbage cans. And uh, all through where people threw their garbage out and get bottles and cans. And people avoid you like you have the plague. You become invisible because they don't want to talk to you. They don't want to look at you. They think you're a bum and stuff like that. And I used to laugh and I used to say to her, I said, the funny thing is, Jeannie, you know what, you know what the funny thing is? And she goes, what's that? I said, I'm probably making more money than they are. But they're going to look it down on me because I'm collecting bottles and cans. So there's an option right there, okay? I never was, you know, so thought I was so important that I wasn't, it was beneath me to go and collect bottles and cans because it was free money as far as I was concerned. Um, if you go to any gas station and uh, there's going to be all kinds of stuff there you can collect, you know, bottles and cans from. Uh, if you have people that you know that don't get rid of their bottles and cans, you can get them that way as well. So there's always a way to hustle some money, okay? There's always a way. So $5 a month is not um, like so so anybody in the northern states that has a bottle and return law you have no excuse as far as i'm concerned why you can't prep five dollars a month okay so five dollars a month what can you get for five dollars a month well like i said i just went um yesterday over to uh you know walmart and the great value canned soup was 50 cents a can well so two cans for a dollar that's 10 cans that you could pick up in a month of soup okay that you could set aside you can get all kinds of different ones you could get uh, you know uh, tomato soup chicken noodle bean and bacon vegetable beef 
uh, you know, country style chicken noodles, all kinds of different, you know, chicken and rice. So there was a lot of different options there. But, so if you do that for a few months and just focus on the soup, okay, well, guess what? In three months, you've got 30 cans of soup set aside, okay? Very, very easy to do that. There's other options, obviously, as well. I mean, if you can do more than $5 a month, obviously, you should try to do that if you can. But you'd be surprised if you said, well, you know what, instead of going to McDonald's and having that one meal to splurge on that one meal at McDonald's, let's say you did that once a month. Let's say once a month you went to McDonald's. Well, if you're even by yourself, you're looking at almost 10 bucks to go to McDonald's. I mean, it's not cheap anymore, okay? McDonald's, Burger King, whatever, whatever one you want to go to. It's not cheap anymore. So instead of doing that splurge, or instead of splurging on that uh, going to, uh, oh, I'm trying to think, uh, like for the coffee, um, I'm trying to think of the name of the company, and I can't think of the name of the company, but it's, it's real expensive coffee out of Seattle, and I can't think of the name of it. You guys will tell me in the comments. But again, instead of going to spending 5 or $6 on a cup of coffee, which is ridiculous in my opinion, I would never spend that much money on a cup of coffee, you know, don't spend that money on that that way. Instead of going at uh, the gas station and spending, you know, a buck fifty or two dollars on a uh, one thing a pop, go ahead and buy the cheapy pop for you know twelve cans for three dollars, and then you know use those instead. There's always ways to cut, guys. Always ways to cut. Uh, I've done it for years. I know exactly how to cut corners as much as I possibly can, as far as expenses goes. And you'd be surprised how much more money that you come up with to have. I'm going to tell you what, when I quit doing drugs and drinking like I did when I was younger, I was amazed at how much more money that I had available to me to spend for other things that didn't cause me to feel like crap, have hangovers, uh, throw up, and all those other good fun things that go along with it. So, you know, it's amazing how much money all of a sudden is now available. Now, I quit smoking at 16, so... I always tell the story, and i got to tell you real quick. So I started smoking at 12, and at 16 I was up to two packs a day. Two reasons why I decided to quit. One, I got sick and tired of people trying to move cigarettes off me all the time, because I would say to them, well, they'll sell you a pack at the store. The second reason that I quit, because they had raised the price of cigarettes from the outrageous, uh, up to the outrageous price of a dollar a pack from 75 cents a pack. I was, went from a 75 cents to a dollar, and I'm like, I'm not paying a dollar a pack for cigarettes. Wasn't going to do it. So I quit smoking at 16, never smoked again. Uh, I'll smoke a cigar once in a blue moon, but nothing, you know, not, not nothing, you know, if I'm getting together with the boys to play poker, uh, I might smoke a cigar then. But other than that, not at all. And that's just, you know, not even every time. So, but anyway, there's always ways to cut corners, okay? So the money is there. You just got to make sure, look at how you're spending it. And again, if you actually are literally spending everything on whatever, there's other ways to make money, to hustle money. There really, truly is. And, uh, you know, you can do that. And so $5 a month is really not a lot. And you'd be surprised how fast that money will add up. I'm fighting mosquitoes out here, guys, because, of course, it rained. Now it's, you know, warm enough and the mosquitoes are out like crazy. And it's early evening. It's about 5 o'clock. Uh, we still did bring in a decent amount of power today, we, even with the rain. Um, we, you know, so I obviously won't have to use a generator yet, which is great. That's the ultimate goal. But uh, so we still pulled in. We pulled over 2 kilowatt hours in today. I don't know exactly what it was, but it was over 2 kilowatt hours, maybe 2 and a half. But, uh, you know, it's... Uh, but again, it rained most of the day, so that's, you know, for that kind of a day, it's not bad at all. But anyway, so I want to hear your guys' thoughts on this. Prepping on a budget, okay? Uh, it can be done. It absolutely can be done. You know, everybody's got an excuse. That's the one thing I've always noticed with anything. Everybody's got an excuse of why they can't do something, why they can't prioritize. So... Get rid of the excuses, sit down, go over your budget, look at where you can cut corners and save money, and I think you'd be surprised, $5 a month for prepping is not a lot. Um, and you know what, you might even be able to have more than that to use for prepping. Uh, you know, buy that bag of rice, you know, one month, you buy, you know, maybe that 10 pound bag of rice for $5 or whatever, you know, and but like I said, believe it or not, you would be surprised how fast those things will add up, and you'll have a really decent amount of preps in no time at all. And again, 
everything is methodical. You just work at it methodically, and it's amazing how fast things add up. It really, really is. And anybody can do it, guys. Anybody can do it. You know, um, so, like I said, too many people just have excuses. And it's, in, in, in all honesty, guys, I'm going to tell you right now, excuses are for the lazy, the ones that don't want to do it, that expect somebody else to take care of them. So don't make excuses. Don't be that person, okay? You can do it. Everyone out here that I'm talking to on this video, all of you can prep. Everybody, even the very, very poor people, um, there's no reason why you can't on a limited basis. I mean, if you have, obviously, if you have a lot more money, then you can do it a lot quicker. But everybody, like I said, they have excuses of why they don't do what they do. So I did want to mention really quickly, uh, today is the second. The sale on my website is ending on um, the 4th. So that's going to be the last day of the sale. So that is going to be on Wednesday. Uh, it will be over at midnight West Coast time, 3 in the morning. So it actually be the 5th East Coast time. So it's 20% off of everything, merchandise um, and legacy foods. So, you know, that is um, available to you if you're looking to add to your freeze-dried food storage. And again, that's just one aspect of what you should have in your preps. Uh, you should definitely have a variety of different things. So, uh, again, you know, that's, uh, of course, your choice. But uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that that sale is almost over. Uh, anyway, so that is that. And uh, the chickens are doing good. I've pulled six eggs out today, uh, three adult eggs and three juvenile eggs. Or was it, wait a minute. No, no, I'm sorry. It was it was two adult eggs and four juvenile eggs today. So, and these freaking mosquitoes are bad. But anyway, um, so good day as far as that goes. Uh, the chickens are obviously doing well. Uh, the little rooster is doing well with the other chickens. have had no other issues. So I really just think that he was sick um, for a couple days there. That's why he was down like he was. Because he doesn't seem to be getting attacked. He doesn't have that any markings where he's being attacked. Or anything like that. Now he might be bullied a little bit, just because of the hierarchy. But uh, other than that, he's okay. So anyway, so that's that. So I want to hear your guys' thoughts on this topic. I want to hear what you guys have to say as far as prepping goes. Can you or can you not? Um, like I said, I get really, really tired of people telling me, "Oh, I just can't do it. Nope, can't prep. I don't have the money for it." You can find the money. Trust me, anybody can. There's all kinds of ways. Go out and cut somebody's grass if you have to. Uh, cut somebody's grass. It's like. Oh, sorry guys. Um, it's like 10 bucks. You make 10 bucks or whatever it is, 20 bucks for cutting somebody's grass. And there you go. There's money to prep. So there's always a way to hustle. Always a way to hustle. So anyway, so just, you know, just kind of sharing those thoughts with you. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Um, so anyway, guys, remember, oh, freaking bugs. We are all in this together. That is important to remember. Also remember, guys, to hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen. Also remember, guys, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, work at it methodically and you will get there. I promise you it will happen, okay? Uh, so I wanted to mention really quickly, Heather went back to school today. I took her back to school, picked Eddie back up, so Eddie's back home. And uh, so she's back to college. So anyway, so I don't know when she'll be back home again, but you know, she's got to do her thing there, and that's okay. So anyway, guys, I will talk to you all tomorrow, uh, and we will just kind of go from there. All right, Prepper Nurse One, out for now.